Good friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative at magicbrad.tv. And I'm here with someone from the East Coast over there. His name is Jay, and the last name is Suknanen, correct? Yes, sir. I did good, huh? Yeah, you, got it. Yeah, you did it perfect. <laughs> so, Jay, I don't do these real long. This is just to get to know who you are and what you do. So, first off, who are you? Are you married, got kids? Are you single, wild, and crazy? Or who's Jay? I was single, wild, and crazy. I'm going on the. I, I've been with a girl for the last uh, nine months, and in that time, we've built a lot. The first week I met her, I wrote a book, uh, and we just. I'm born and raised in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. I know what I want to do in my life. I found out my purpose a few years ago. Transitioning to actually living in that purpose was the hard part because I had to let go of my childhood dream. Yeah. And be the right man for the position and I really want to help join humanity and making sure everyone has food, water and shelter, furthering that to health and education. I also want to build my network through health and wellness and my different endeavors and I want to inspire the young and those who have given up on themselves. Well that's a very noble cause, I like that and it's good to inspire the young because they're going to be our future, you know? Exactly, give them, give them. I know it's noble, also on that path, to me, a major thing is to enjoy the journey. Because if you don't put joy into it, you it's just going to be mundane. You won't really have fun and you can't really help change. Very true, and there's no longevity in that. Because as soon as you get bored, you lose the energy and you quit doing it. So you got to have fun and enjoy it, enjoy the journey, so to speak. And uh, there's much more longevity. Um, I started doing magic when I was a kid. I started out as, a, as an entrepreneur very early. I was the kind of kid that... Uh, bought candy in bulk and sold it at a profit to my classmates. So very entrepreneurial. And I'm still fun. entrepreneurial. <laughs> so that's, that's the way it is. Cool. So what is it that you do then? You see, it, it sounds like uh, you're doing things more in the holistic health and wellness realm. Is that close? Yes. Right now I'm an integrative wellness I'm a therapist. I used to be a personal trainer. And the book is towards self-help. So it goes along with the life coaching. I also professionally speak. My girlfriend's a health coach. We go retreats. And in those retreats, you have really connected. You, you get connected with those people. 10 to 12 people have a great time, mm -hmm. a lot of learning, a lot of fun. And you learn some of the most powerful tools we teach to our clients for practically nothing at no cost. And you, you enjoy a good weekend for seven days away. Where, where do you do the retreats? Uh, different locations. We do Delaware right now. We have Poconos. We also do the Caribbean islands. Okay. We have the next one in Dominican Republic. You want to go to Costa Rica? I've been there before. I'm working on building an event center in Costa Rica, and that's exactly what it's for. It's for retreats and people that are interested in lifelong learning and making the world a better place. So. Nice. Well, I'd definitely love to be a part of that. Yeah, so let's stay connected on that level. It's very cool that you bring up the retreat thing because that's kind of what I'm doing now with this. I got a friend that's got 150 acres down there, and we're developing it. Not really a community, but having a lot of little things in it for that purpose. And the event center is right in the jungle, so it's not a spring break kind of thing. It's more of a get in touch with yourself Tranquil. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, what I, that's, that's the point. But also, I still... In that tranquil space and that peace of mind, I want to show them that, yeah, you could be zen and that's fun, but I want to show them you can have clean fun too. Like, you know, even yeah. music, good music, like creating vision board parties and people being vulnerable and open. I dig it. I like your vibe. I like that. That's um, along the same path. I think a person doesn't need to go get intoxicated to have a good time. They can uh, zen out on, on you know, different kind of energy, so to speak. So, is your book, is it published already? Yes, sir. The, it's called... Amazon? It's called a bun, uh, Amazon. It's on Amazon, and you can order it through Barnes & Noble. It's mm. called Abundance, A Journey from Anxiety and Depression. I like it. So, so, what the book is about is everybody, no matter, I don't care how confident you are, we all face anxiety. And to me, anxiety is just trying something new. It's not living in that state. It's just trying something new, that hesitation, that second thought of crossing over that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And that could trickle down to you not facing it, which would, could lead to you repeatedly putting yourself down into a smaller and smaller box and ultimately lead into depression. And those things take a toll on you. So 
one thing I saw that really kept me out of that box is when I was transitioning from the thought of being a doctor to this like world leader kind of figure, my mind was like, I had such a deep impact to go on. I, it was like, it looked like short success. Yeah. Right. And now I'm embarking on this new journey that really fluctuated my mind. So I realized the most important thing was to work on your health and wellness, work on your meditation, your, whatever you use to de-stress, work on working out, make sure you stay physically fit, you know, do the right things, practice gratitude. And after that, you know, emphasizing to take care of your well-being, I said, you know, what's your purpose? Help them, tools to help them find their purpose. Uh, your morals and principles, which is like your values, whatever you want to be, whatever you want to do, the sure. kind of person you want to be. Going into then beliefs, limiting beliefs, a lot of people have stigmas about, we have a lot of rich people concepts, like, oh, the rich keep getting richer, the poor keep getting poorer, but the rich get richer because they do things to get richer. And mm -hmm. the poor, they get poor because they continue to do the same things. It's only because we continue to do the same thing. Yeah. If we change, we could change it. And if we think they're greedy, then we would never want to be rich, right? So that's like just a money concept, but yes. like limiting beliefs, like I can't do something. So we get into those topics, then we get into routines, rituals, and we ended off with a mindset, a mindset shift to abundance. So Got it. You can't live in a scarce mindset and think you're going to have things turn out. Well, just, yeah, just the way a person thinks um, as you think, so shall you be kind of thing. Like in the Synergy Lifestyle Academy, we got five pillars. There's career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. And you're talking about the wellness aspect of stuff because the, the reality is if you've got a bunch of money and it's really, you're really good at making money, and even if you have a great relationship with your spouse and your kids, if you've got bad health, <laughs> you know, you're, you're laid up, you can't do anything with your money, you can't hang out with your kids, you can't do anything. So there's got to be a harmony with all that kind of stuff. And that's where the mindset comes in. Like, get out of bed, get some work done, do something, do something for society, do something for the community, right? Like this, like a podcast, spreading out good information and letting people like enjoy different perspectives so they can figure out what they want. You, yeah. you're, you're tremendously helping society just by spreading these messages. Any kind of little thought, any little nugget of information that might pivot. It's like Tony Robbins talks about when, you, like when they shoot a rocket to the moon, they're off track probably 99% of the time. And they're always tweaking it to get to their destination. And it's those little tweaks that could either shoot you off in the wrong direction or put you right on target. So you got to have that, that vision in mind and do those little things, like you said, taking care of yourself, your mind, body, and your spirit. Cool. Right. Okay. So do you have a website that people can uh, contact you? And then I'm going to ask you my favorite question. But uh, first, if you, how do we get a hold of you or your book and things like that? you got a website easy to uh, The book you can search on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. Again, it's Abundance. A Journey from Anxiety and Depression. That's a title, and it's more of a focus on abundance and just showing where we could all come from mm -hmm. and how we can get there. Also, um, the website is body, B O D Y, mind, M I N D, and A N D, soul, S U U L, S O U L, B M S dot com. So, body, mind, and soul, B M S dot com. And you can see the retreats. You can see what we do with schools and different things we offer. Okay, so and you can also body, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Same thing: body, mind, and soul. BMS. Staying consistent. That's good entrepreneur. Good marketer. <laughs> All right. Well, here's my favorite question. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to process this and beam it up to the universe and if you could share it with the people that you see that would be wonderful that's how we create the synergy and make it all work here's the good question why are you doing this why aren't you like a rapper or why aren't you doing like driving for uber or why aren't you like a ski instructor or starting your own martial arts school why are you doing this yeah, yeah actually that's pretty fun um <laughs> you know I, I actually rap, you know, sometimes in the background. <laughs> I, I like rapping, actually. But for me, the reason I got into speaking uh, was because I realized all gr great world leaders and people that had made a major change in the world, they learned how to speak well. And they spoke very well. And that, that helped create a lot of change because they could convey their message and communicate well. And also with the 
health and wellness, the reason I do that is because if we can't take care of ourselves and make sure we put ourselves in a priority in our life, we can't get to peace, right? We will never be at peace at heart. And if we can't be at peace and have grace inside, it'll never spread. So there'll never be world peace. And if, we, if we're not abundant in our mind and realize that we have enough, if we don't realize we have enough, we can never help others. So it's about realizing we have enough so we could lend out that helping hand. Got it. Okay, well, I, I love that answer in that uh, I do a lot of these interviews, and oftentimes, probably 99% of the time, people are about helping humanity. So that's what I'm hearing from you. You want to be able to speak and make a change in the world, and you want people to be abundant and essentially financially and probably time freedom and location freedom. And I'm all about the mobile phone, you know. Just I don't I can't be stuck at my computer. I like to be able to go somewhere. You know? <laughs> so Jay, I appreciate you taking the time. Is there any final words? And then I'm gonna sign this off and beam it up. No, thank you so much, Brad, for having me and uh, great questions. And I, I wish you the best on everything you do. So. Okay, we'll get this out. And if down the road you want to do something else, or maybe we could talk about some of your retreats because I am an event kind of guy. So I'll let people know about those too. So appreciate you taking the time to be on Synergy Cafe, Jay. Thanks. Peace. Thank you so much. Peace.